wings of an eagle If you want to be a beetle I've a legion alive I'm a sizzle and whistle Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle I'm a whisper in your ear I don't care If you want to be a beetle, now's a, a beetle. <laughs> but you could be a beagle too. 8 by 5 kilometers to Terrayama. Gotta make it there one day. Gotta make it. Are finally stabilizing here. Land village. What is that area? Eh? Interesting. Dehydration is um, real during this dry uh, temperatures. You can't even feel it until it kicks in especially after a um, big cup of fan big cup of black all right what do we have land village looks like a like a love hotel like a love hotel to me now we've got to figure out if we have to go across the road or follow the straight line here let's figure it out battery percentage uh, on chat 20 percent okay beautiful i noticed uh, across the road here probably gonna get a little um, downhill and then uh, on the right side we have the cave nice beautiful land village not even sure if it is a love hotel Oh shit, Mauser. Damn, didn't know. A beagle. Well, I won't be the net in that case. I love the dogs. Let's go. Woo. Yay. Here we go, Forky. Man, that's so cute. It's so cute that you're playing it. <laughs> this is the moment from the man who put the real beginning to that flute. Ladies and gentlemen, if you, if you wonder about that flute, then focus the man um, who started the whole, whole flute thing here. And uh, since, since then, the flute uh, will never be uh, forgotten. Nice one. Uh, well, how many flutes? Uh, that makes more than a hundred flutes now. The flute has been literally more played than we've seen cats in the stream. Nice. Yeah, I think we haven't seen. If uh, if you check the cat command, we have. Oh, beautiful, we got a downhill here. I'm not gonna hype it too much because I know we're gonna have to come up later on. But it's all good because I've got the smoko, smoko material going with me. It's quite deep in the bush, honestly. Far out. Yeah, meat snacks! Yeah, yeah, Fork has been me snacks a few times already. 
now he's he has shown his uh, appearance at least a few times again. No, Mauser, absolutely, I know. Uh, Mauser, absolutely, I am. Ah, Kivik, what up, man? You're getting financial over there, my dear. Calculating the bits over there. Uh, yeah, folk, yeah, you see the community has been missing you here. Uh, man was 60 days uh, on an island challenge, like Ed Stafford. BB tracker. Kiwi caught up on your room, brother. Things are looking great then. A oh, nice little cell tower there. That explains the stable condition. Oh shit, look at that. The stuff you see in the bush, literally, you know. Well, I was lonely. Fuck. That, cr that makes a lonely island. Last time um, I checked that word out on YouTube and a music band popped out. Look at that, that's a decent little figure over there. Very Japanese-like. Life be like that. <laughs> Uh, it was Kivik. I just had sex and it felt so good, felt so good. I was like fucking virgin when I was singing out loud that song, you know. Uh, these were the days, man, these were the days. <laughs> but you know, turns out a couple of years later, you know, not that virgin anymore, so. Uh, uh, singing out that song was like a love of attraction it brought. It brought me the girls, it brought me, it brought me the sex. Oh. Okay, we have um, cave, is the cave right from here or do we have to? The cave is sort of hidden, hidden location. Konnichiwa! Ay, dozo. Uh, traveru. Uh. <laughs> Okay, we have, um... Oh, okay, we're right in the cave. Um, uh, I've got to go down from this road. The cave road is in here. Okay. Wait, what? Is the cave in the jungle? Oh, fucking way. What does it say? Oh, it should be right over here. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to park the bicycle on the... Uh, on the other side, time to get the gimbal out. Let's go. The caves out there somewhere for hiding and praying. Oh shit, that's a decent historical site. Nice, we made it. Let me get the stuff out. I'm gonna put you on a gimbal, we need a bit of a, a bit of a more stable experience for that. Turns out that spot explains here quite a bit. You know, my goal is to put um, bits and pieces together about the history of um, Kagoshima. And that's one of the spots where we can definitely achieve our goal. Um, it's been a whole day anyway, we've, we've been trying to come here. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, far out! Gimbal is pulling me. Some different tricks.
Rob, dude, what up? Man, I haven't seen you also for ages. What's going on, lad? Yeah. What's happening? <laughs> okay, um, that's a faulty location. That's not where we're going. Um, so, um, but um, according to Google Maps, the cave is somewhere down there, but that's, don't trust it, okay? Um, it's over there, so you just gotta come across the road. Apparently it says, it's somewhere in the random, random, randomly in the jungle. Let's um, see the caves of um, Suzuma Gamiya. Let me take my time, I wanna read about it. For hiding and praying. Oh shit. That's interesting now. That is really interesting. Apparently um, those caves, wild peaks have been around. Clearly wild peaks. All oh, this road has been dug up. So apparently those caves were um, used by believers, Buddhist uh, monks. There was a Satuma clan, a samurai clan, and they were pretty strict with the ruling here. And um, turns out they didn't really like the Buddhist thing. So the monks came to these mountains and build, uh, they built caves for praying and, uh, and studying. Let's see what it is about. No snakes um, during the winter folk, but you never know. Dinesh, what up? <laughs> Good to see you. Dinesh, I'm alright. How about yourself? Uh, where's the whistle? Oh shit, look at that. Holy smokes. The caves are still very much. How old they were? 400 years, they said very much in in their um, original form there we go dinesh holy shit look at that i think we can even go in i don't know if um if um there's connection in there but i'm hoping Yay, Dinesh, yay! Okay. Let's see our connection. Oh my god. Lads, don't do it in here. First of all, it was a little bit. A little bit scary. Secondly, it's a Buddhist cave. <laughs> Fork. But hey, uh, I guess that's that's the point on your end, lads. Looks like it's cracking uh, on the top here. <clears throat> oh wow! Awesome. So they were praying in these caves. Back in the days. Leonardo da Vulva, I guess so. I mean, that's a Buddhist 